Hi guys, and today we are going to talk about the alternate history of Hermitcraft. If you do not know Hermitcraft, it is a SMP server with pranks. I will press the button. Run! Run! Bye bye! <laughs> huge builds and cool events. Hermitcraft shares its similarities with a fairly new and popular live SMP server called the Dream SMP, which by the name itself, it is a server of the YouTuber Dream with his friends like George, Tommy Init, and Technoblade. It's basically Hermitcraft and 2B2T, an anarchy server, have a baby, and boom, Dream SMP. It has wars, democracy, and a lot of anarchy. Both the Dream SMP and Hermitcraft are greatly different with one another making them seem impossible for both sides to form in a larger server group. But, in our alternate history of Hermitcraft, what if? What if the Dream SMP members all join Hermitcraft at the same time? Will they make peace with the Hermits? What will happen to the server? In this episode of Alternate History of Hermitcraft, we are going to discuss this and divide them into three parts. The beginning effect and the aftermath also if you enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe for more and thank you for the support for alternate history lately if you haven't watched them already go check it out anyways enjoy the video in the alternate timeline where the server is at relative peace the Hermits all decided to introduce a wave of new members from the Dream SMP server. When they all logged in in Hermitcraft at the same time, they were shocked about the wonderful builds and infrastructure in Hermitcraft. The current leader of the Hermits, Mayor Scar, greeted the new members in the town hall by giving them resources to start settling in the server. The newcomers are known to be chaotic and very likely to start wars, especially Dream, Tommy, and Technoblade. This made Mayor Scar impose strict rules against griefing and causing conflict with the other members. Regarding to the other members, some of them are overwhelmed with the amount of work the Hermits do in the server and wanted to be in their similar state. They started to form different colonies or bases together and settle far and wide to the different territories of Hermitcraft. One of the greater colonies of the SMP is the Dreamania colony, headed by the man himself, Dream. They settled beside the borders of the Southern Hermit jungle, which they used their surroundings for resources to build their colony into something great. It seems like the server will preserve the relative peace and harmony. But, Dream, being known for his PvP prowess and causing conflict, has something different in mind. Dream, the leader of the Germania colony, wanted to achieve something way greater for his colony. When he saw the great builds in Hermitcraft, he saw the potential for chaos, griefing, and anarchy. His driving will to destroy and cause anarchy made him set out to accomplish a goal. A goal to cause chaos and destroy Hermitcraft into ashes. Dream, together with Technoblade and his allies, reformed the colony into a massive, militant and PvP-centered country. He formed the group, the Germanian Empire spanning from the borders of the southern hermit jungle and to the shores of the Hermitarian Sea. The server, specifically the hermits, are unaware of the existence of the Germanian Empire. And Dream wanted to send a striking message for all the server to know. Inside the territory of the southern hermit jungle, the Germanian Empire crossed its borders and started to march to one of the greatest monuments and builds in Hermitcraft. 
Grian's Mansion. Upon reaching the mansion, the Dermanian Empire set out to place TNT all over the mansion. Their goal was to destroy the mansion and break the building spirit of the Hermits. But the Hermits were alerted of the Dermanian Empire trying to destroy the mansion and quickly head out to save the mansion from their acts of tyranny. But the Hermits were too late. Goodbye, Manch. Oh my goodness. What a mess. Oh, oh no. It didn't even want to load. My mansion. My beautiful mansion. It's all gone. Pesky bird. Green's mansion, one of the prominent and monumental builds in the server, was destroyed into rubble. But instead of breaking their spirits, the hermits are driven by the motivation to seek revenge and destroy the empire. Grian, filled with anger and outrage, wanted to seek revenge against the empire and wipe their existence in the server once and for all. He went to Mayor Scar and pledged the loyalty of the Mycelium resistance to him to fight back against the empire. The alliance between the HEP and the Mycelium Resistance was brought together under a single nation, the Hermit Republic, with their territories including the shopping district as their capital and the other Hermit territories across the server. With the formation of the Republic, the United Hermits became the most advanced and prosperous nation in Hermitcraft, with their massive farms and stockpile of resources. But, the Hermits are at a disadvantage of having capable fighters in their country. With the Germanian Empire being at a disadvantage with the lack of resources, they set out to plunder and loot the Hermits' farms, especially Creeper Farms, in making TNT to blow up the server. Dream officially settled a declaration of war together with their allied colonies to fight and destroy the Republic with a threatening speech. With the two nations fighting for control over the server, the future of Hermitcraft remains unknown. But hey, this is only a theory, an alternate universe theory. So, what do you think will happen next in this alternate history? The Hermit Republic winning or the Germanian Empire? Let me know and share your ideas in the comments down below. Anyway, this is Ariasaur and thank you for watching. Alternate History of Hermitcraft. Bye!